Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We got a packed house up here on the hill in the great city of Charleston, West Virginia, to watch the Cross River Rivals between South Charleston High School and George Washington High School. Uh, both coming off victories in the first round of the Quad A Sec Region 3 Section 1 playoffs. That was South Charleston uh, putting a pretty good handle on Capitol. Uh, and then George Washington beat Riverside by about 30. So, you know, both teams coming off high uh, wins, high expectations, a lot of good basketball. I got an opportunity to call uh, the South Charleston versus Capital game uh, the other night on our HD Media Game Day broadcast, and there was a lot of high-flying action, a lot of scoring, a lot of great plays, a lot of athleticism. I expect we're going to see here that here tonight. Dejon Reed took over that game on the offensive boards. I think he had eight putbacks. One was a dunk. There were probably five or six other dunks throughout the game that just really got that South Charleston crowd into it, electrifying. The crowd here on hand tonight is even more packed than the other night, so I think that we're going to have a great atmosphere for some high school basketball as we get ready to kick off to the National Anthem. The hot, crispy filet of fish You either love it, or you haven't tried it yet. The filet of fish is crispy, creamy, and totally craveable. Get two filet of fish sandwiches for just $6. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. To us, justice is not just a word. It's why we fight. Warner Law Offices. When you need justice. Bobby Warner, now's the time. Call 3456789. In an ever-changing world, one thing you can always count on is Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Hurricane. You know, Gene and Ryan built their business the old-fashioned way by making friends. There are no gimmicks or games at Walker, just honest, fair deals, and their method is so straightforward, it may shock you. Friendly service and a huge selection of inventory with more arriving daily. When you're ready for your next vehicle, take the short 20-minute drive from Charleston or Huntington to Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, just off the Hurricane exit of I-64. Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, making friends one deal at a time. The HD Media Plus app is your ticket to see all the action on the hard court as it happens. Sam, Sam makes it in! Sam's from three! Download it today for free to your smartphone or TV so you won't miss another shot. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The National Anthem is in play. We're going to turn it over to the PA announcer for starting lineups. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The anthem has been sung. Starting lineups are in. We got a packed house up here on the hill. 
at George Washington High School to watch GW take on South Charleston. Both teams coming off big margin wins the other night. This is the Quad A Section 3, Region 3 Section 1 Championship. The winner of this will be the section champion. The loser will still continue to play in the state playoffs. Coach Green was hoping he'd get a chance to face his son tonight for the section championship. But uh, Josh Daniels and the South Charleston squad had another thing to say about that. A few guys, uh, Dejon Reed, uh, Shawty Williams, they both had electrifying games last week. Look at the, or last game, they're going to look to do the same thing here tonight. Standing room only crowd. This should be a great evening of basketball. South Charleston wins the tip. Possession arrow will go the other way. GW in that man-to-man -man as we've seen all season long from them. The student sections are into it early on both sides of the floor here. South Charleston down to my left in front of me. GW all the way on the right against their defending basket. 40 seconds of game time. A lot of dribbling, a lot of passing. No shots up yet. Saunders going to make a spin move down the lane. He's going to change that. Can't get the little baby hook to fall there. GW looking for the first points of the night. Kick it back out. Hartwell for three. He's off the front of the air. Offensive rebound, though. Both teams really good on the offensive glass. They're great at second chance shots. Something the winner of the offensive boards is going to have a major advantage in this game. Nice little turn and spin move there by Go Goble. GW on the board first tonight. 2-0 with 6.20 to play here in the first quarter. South Charleston going to look to answer. They had a nice, long, methodical offensive possession last game. Sorry, last trip down the floor. Three-pointer goes up. That's going to be nothing but net from Dejon Reed. He's off to a hot start. Picking up right where he left off last week. Good strong take. Can't get the shot to fall though. The offensive rebound can't chance put back can't go in for Hartwell. Reed loses feet, gets the ball over to Saunders though to keep the possession alive. Roman Kellum with a nice up and under a reverse layup for two. Five too early lead here with five to play in the first. 14 footer goes for Dawson Lunsford. One point lead for South Charleston. Did this a lot against Capital last game. A lot of movement around the perimeter looking for that right time to drive or the shot to go up. A little spin move, can't keep his feet with Shotty Williams. The long outlet pass to Jackson Clark won't go. A lot of bodies banging. Ref saying let him play on. This is a game where ballers will ball. Shotty's going to put the shoulder down, maybe get away with a little bit of an offensive foul there. The referee's going to blow the whistle and come and separate the two. Getting a little chippy here early in the first. Williams from 17 foot, nothing but net. Hartwell going to slow walk it up the floor. GW's going to go with one of their sets. Yeah. 
Inside the Lunsford, he gets the bucket to go. Sorry, correction, no, no lose for two. Saunders with the nice Euro step down the lane. He gets it to fall. He has such a nice long stride on that. As he goes down the lane, he has the long release on that nice little sky hook. Three-pointer goes up off the mark. Shawty Williams with the rebound looking to run. He puts the three up. That's off the mark. Jackson Clark going to get called for the offensive foul as he tried to drive the lane. His first team first in the quarter. A couple substitutes coming into the game for the Patriots. Get some fresh feed out there. They had a couple days rest in between these games, but not a lot of whistles, not a lot of time to catch your breath in an action-packed basketball night. Saunders takes that drive again. He goes off the glass and in. They're going to say no, going to go back the other way. Going to call a charge on him. Back-to-back -back offensive fouls. That'll take away the bucket. Three-point deficit now for GW as they walk it up. Going back to that set, get the floor spread. Man-to-man -man defense for, G for South Charleston as it has been all night. Dejon Reed on the breakaway. He gets two. He's got the hot hand with five tonight for South Charleston. Nice pass along the baseline. Great teamwork. Tic-tac-toe pass and can't get the bucket to fall. Little Hunter Skelter in the last 30 seconds. That continues back to back to back turnovers. Like I said before, it's loud in here. Probably one of the loudest games either one of these two teams has played in. Might have the nerves rattled. A couple guys are coming off the bench just getting the feel of the game. We've got 144 to play here in the first. Great step around by Kellum to come over and get the, the ball. Got the big body out of the way, Anderson. The three goes up and in. Deshaun Williams with three. He's got five on the night. It's a 14-6 lead for South Charleston right now. Big difference is the two three-pointers they've hit. South Charleston bench and student section really getting into it. Try to hype this defense up. Hart well tried for the answer off the back of the iron. Kevin with a nice little pump fake, takes it to 14 foot, lets one fly off the mark. motion for both these offenses looking for that pick and roll trying to get to the hole it's going to be Dejon Reed with the quick hands for the steal as he gets around half court he's going to be fouled by Dawson Lunsford his first team second They're going to play for the last shot. Sanders' three was off the back of the iron, and that's how we'll close out the first quarter. 
Home team, GW6, away 14. We'll be back after this. In an ever-changing world, one thing you can always count on is Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Herndon. You know, Gene and Ryan built their business the old-fashioned way by making friends. There are no gimmicks or games at Walker, just honest, fair deals, and their method is so straightforward, it may shock you. Friendly service and a huge selection of inventory with more arriving daily. When you're ready for your next vehicle, take the short 20-minute drive from Charleston or Huntington to Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Just off the hurricane exit of I-64, Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, making friends one deal at a time. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting ready to, ready to kick off the second quarter here. GW Trail South Charleston, 14-6 at this point. Dejon Reed with five and Shoddy Williams with five, both for South Charleston as their leading scorers. Spread evenly across the board between Goble, Lewis, Lewis and Lunsford make up the six for GW. GW, a pretty good shooting team coming into the game. Have been all year long, a little bit cold to start. Haven't been able to get a couple of the putbacks to go. That could that is the difference so far in the game, the eight points. Chuck Kelly so good at getting those offensive rebounds. Really aggressive player. Coach Green's gotta love to see that. Gets them a second chance to get on the board first in the second quarter. They can't get the 12-footer to fall, though. South Charleston hits the three. That's going to be number one, Maurice Jones, his first bucket of the game. They're going to say ref on the baseline is going to call it off the foot of South Charleston guy before it rolled out of bounds. Possession will stay GW. Six forty to play here so far. The only difference in scores the three pointer to start. This Hartwell can't get it to go, but that's going to be a tip in. Lunsford gets the offensive board on the tip. Nice, easy put back. He has four on the evening. We're going to say Saunders tipped it on the try to catch on the out of bounds. We'll go GW way. Kellum's been quiet so far this evening. He had a slow start uh, last game because he got in a little bit of foul trouble early. No foul so far, but not on the board. He is a difference maker when he's in there, though. He has that electric ability, a lot of athleticism. He goes up from Lunsford. He's going to be long off the rim. South Charleston was looking for, to run. They had Kellum on the break, but a little bit too high for him as he steps out of bounds on the baseline. A couple subs coming into the game for South Charleston. Not a lot of whistles so far, a lot of back and forth, a lot of running, a lot of offensive motions that will tire the legs out. Even if people are in shape, so, you know, need to get those fresh legs in the game. A lot of subs will happen as we go on here. 
Big offensive rebound by Elijah Martin. South Charleston student section giving it to him with that air ball call. Williams loses the handle on him. There's a scrum on the floor. It's going to go to a jump ball. Josh Daniels talking to the refs. Thinks it's their ball. A little bit of confusion. Lights not lit up on the possession arrow. Scoreboard says possession will go to the guests. Ref check with the score table and agreed. We'll stay South Charleston ball. Kellum with a nice reverse. It's the second time he's made that same shot. That nice little from the left to the right over the head. Reverse layup. Three-pointer goes up. That's going to be short. Big offensive rebound goes up and in for Jackson Clark. South Charleston student section of fans calling for an offensive foul. Rest say let him play. Seventeen footer off the mark for Lowe. Deshaun Williams trying to play safety. They're going to say Jackson Clark came over and hit him as he was trying to catch it. Offensive foul to go the other way. South Charleston student section's loving that. GW fans down to my right, they're booing pretty hard. They dislike the call. They thought it was a free ball, jump ball. Refs thought otherwise. We're at about the halfway mark in the second quarter. 19-10, South Charleston lead and the ball. Nice strong take by Shawty Williams, but too strong off the backboard. They're going to call Kellum away from the ball. Call him on a hold. Noah Lewis went to the ground hard. I was watching the ball, so I didn't see exactly what happened, but Kellum doesn't like the call, neither did South Charleston's pseudo section. Happened right in front of him. It's going to be Kellum's first. Quick hands by Williams. Causes a jump ball situation. We'll stay GW. Good strong take, but Kellum gets a piece of it on the way up. Give him credit for a block. Dejon Reed with a nice pass down low, but that's going to be a big law by Clark. Clark's looking to run. They're going to say charge on Clark. Another offensive foul. They're going to say... Elijah Martin got his feet set underneath the basket. South Charleston student section loving it. GW fans booing the refs, telling them go home. I believe that is the fifth offensive foul we've had now. The officials stopped the game. Not sure if it's a clock issue. for the technical difficulties. We got a little bit of stoppage to fix the clock here. It was at 3.13. Now they're going to reset it to 3.10. It'll be South Charleston ball.
Dejon Reed showing off his athleticism. He's, he hits a step back, too. He is seven on the night. GW with a lot of motion, trying to get that perfect setup. They have great passing between players. Nobody's selfish on this team. They're going to say that number 12, Chuck Kelly put his shoulder down, and he gave it right to Elijah Martin. That's the second charge in back-to-back -back possession as Martin's picked up. That's as good as a steal in a coach's book. Back-to-back -back turnovers from GW as they're down 11 with 2.14 to play. So far, nobody in foul trouble for either team. Three-pointer for Reed was off the mark. She's going to try to look to get some points here in this last minute and 40 seconds, try to end the half on a high note. South Charleston's dominated the scoreboard the entire game as that 19-footer won't go. Good steal by Hartwell. Good defense by Reed to get back and swat it away. I believe that was Kelly with the basket. Step back for Saunders. He airballs it. Going to call a reaching foul. That one's going to go against Williams as he reached in from behind trying to get the steal. We're under a minute here to play. We appreciate you all joining in to HD Media's broadcast of game day brought to you by the Media Center. It's a great night to sit in and watch this on your HD Media app up on the big screen. Nice little... Right hand on the drive down the left side going to be from Gail Lamb. He'll go to the line to shoot, too. Fouls on Martin, his first. Lamb gets the first one to go. He goes two for two from the line. Reed down the right side, can't get it to go. Too strong off the glass. 20 to play here in the second quarter. Oh, wow, what a huge block by Kellum on Hartwell. Chance Hartwell thought he had a step on him. Kellum got that long arm out there and sent it off the wall there along the baseline. It's right in front of this South Charleston student section. They're loving it. 14 to play. Nice backdoor pass, can't get a shot off though. Two offensive, three offensive rebounds for the back-to-back -back possessions. And that's gonna be a shot that goes up by Lamb, will fall short. That'll end at 21-14 at the end of two. We hope you join us for a great second half of basketball. We'll be back after this. 
Serving the area one truck at a time for over 60 years, Mullen Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling is in your neighborhood each and every day working to keep your family warm and comfortable. With cooler days ahead and winter right around the corner, now's the time to schedule your home HVAC system tune-up and preventive maintenance. If you need a new system and received a quote from another company, give Mullen a chance to take a second look. Right now we're offering 0% financing on a new Ream home system and includes a 10-year worry-free warranty. Remember, Mullen Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Call or visit us online today to schedule your appointment at MullenPlumbing.com. Hi, it's Tony Caridi. You know, our West Virginia military veterans are the last ones to ask for handouts, yet many of them are hungry. I invite you to watch a video that shows an amazing monthly program that helps feed our veterans in Beckley and Clarksburg. Huntington Bank and other partners would like to expand this program to other areas of our state, and we'd love for you to help. Watch the video at wvenriched.com. That's wvenriched.com. At Glenville State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime, professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glenville State University, you can become a pioneer. I'm Chris Miller, and I'm proud to sponsor productions like this one that showcase the best of this great state. School pride runs deep here. Friday night lights, crowded gyms, packed auditoriums. It's what makes this such a great place to live and work. So be true to your school. And at Dutch Miller Auto, we're there with you. Because when we build on our young people, everybody wins. I'm proud to lead the way as we bring out the best in West Virginia. I'm Chris Miller, and enjoy the game. Hi, I'm Ben Nickel. I'm from Charleston, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you'll find me at my local Parmar store. We have that Bobcat pride at your local Parmar stores. From food and drinks to gas and more, we have everything you'll need at Parmar. Download the Parmar app and sign up for the rewards cards. We have stores throughout Ohio and we're coming soon to your neighborhood. We are Bobcat proud and we are Parmar stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Ball Automotive Group is here for all your automotive needs. We have three locations with over 300 new vehicles available and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles in stock. Ball Automotive has been an integral part of our community, which we have proudly served for over 20 years. With over 1,300 online reviews, you'll see why our customers keep coming back. To see what Advantage Toyota of Barbersville, Ball Toyota of Charleston, and LNS Toyota of Beckley have to offer, visit us online at ballautomotivegroup.com. If you're hungry late or you're on a date, Adelphi is the place to be. Awesome wings, fried feta cheese, let's all meet and have a drink. Friendly smiles and TVs for miles, Adelphi is the place for me. We live stream sports from across the globe. Join us for Sunday brunch from 10 to 1, Adelphia on Capitol Street. Are you ready to unlock a future filled with remarkable pay, unbeatable benefits, and unparalleled satisfaction? Imagine embarking on a journey that offers you a college-level education without the weight of debt, all while earning a steady income. Look no further than the West Virginia Building and Construction Trades Apprenticeship Programs. Join us, and together, let's build a future that's brighter and stronger. Go to ACTWV.org to apply today. The West Virginia Building and Construction Trades, where the future is forged. The HD Media Plus app is your ticket to see all the action on the hard court as it happens. Sam, Sam makes it in! Sam's from three! Download it today for free to your smartphone or TV so you won't miss another shot. CJ is a great company to work for. We've been around for 78 years. We are an underground utility construction company all across the, the East Coast. We are rapidly growing and we're seeing a, a huge growth in this market, um, a huge need for employees. We are always looking for those that are experienced, those that are trying to get their foot in the door. We have positions for everybody. We offer competitive pay. We offer competitive benefits. We take pride in having a family atmosphere at CJ Hughes, and it's truly just a family company.
the hot, crispy filet of fish You either love it, or you haven't tried it yet. The filet o fish is crispy, creamy, and totally craveable. Get two filet o fish sandwiches for just $6. Ba -ba -ba -ba. To us, justice is not just a word. It's why we fight. Warner Law Offices. When you need justice. Bobby Warner, now's the time. Call 3456789. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We got 2.16 until we kick off the second half. A lot of, lot of action packed. First half that was for this quad, a Section 1 Region 3 championship. The winner of this will be the section champion. Both teams, I am told, go to play on in the state playoff. So we look forward to that. We look forward to seeing all the playoff games that come and then the championships downtown in Charleston, West Virginia. Tonight's little recap, though, really comes down to the missed uh, opportunities for GW. You know, they're trailing this game by seven, and they've missed probably eight or nine putbacks on offensive rebounds, just something you really don't see from a Rick Green coach team. Uh, very uncharacteristic from them. Again, you know, this is a very packed house, one of the best atmospheres we've had, uh, not only here, but anywhere around the state this year. Maybe a little bit of playoff jitters uh, causing that, but if they get some of these shots to fall, South Charleston could be in trouble. South Charleston has led the entire uh, majority of the game, I should say. Uh, it was a quick lead for GW at the beginning, and then they, then South Charleston really never looked back after Dejon Reed's first three. He leads all scorers with seven. He's uh, in positioning himself well for the Caldwell Loose the Trapano player of the game, which will present uh, to a player of the winning team in the fourth quarter. GW, though, has been able to spread the ball around uh, their leading scorer is Dawson Lunsford with four. Everyone else across the board has two. As we get ready to uh, kick off this second half of action, we appreciate you joining in to HD Media's Game Day, uh, brought to you by the Media Center. 30 seconds until that happens. Josh Daniels there in the shot, giving his team a little bit of last-minute updates and adjustments, telling his team we got a seven-point lead, but we can't be fooled. If GW gets a couple of these soft shots to fall like they have all year long, we'll be in some trouble. 
Uh, on the other side, though, the threes were a little bit of a problem uh, for South Charleston compared to the prior game. Uh, they were hitting them all night the other night, you know, nothing but net from three, four feet bottom of the line. Uh, tonight, I believe they only have one three on the evening, and that came from Dejon Reed. He's going to look to get going here in the second half. With that said, it'll be South Charleston ball to kick off the third quarter. Oh, almost a steal with the quick hands. Getting in front of it. It's going to go down low to Saunders, and he's going to be blocked by Lunsford. It's a defensive stop that GW was looking to start this game. They need to get those shots to fall. Lunsford's not going to get it to go as Kellum blocked him on the other end. Back-to-back -back blocks to start the second half. GW fans want to travel. Refs say no. Got the ball knocked out of his hand. What a move, what a pass by Reed. And another reverse layup by Kellum. He has all six points on that same move along the baseline. He loves it. So do these South Charleston fans. Kellum's going to get the tip. That's going to go off Lunsford and go out of bounds. And go South Charleston ball. I apologize. I've been calling Noah Lewis Lunsford for the past about minute. It's number five, Noah Lewis. Dawson Lunsford wearing number 10 for the white. GW moves to the man zone that they play at. Correction comes back out to the man. Three-pointer goes up. That's going to be... Number five, Elijah Martin quieting the crowd. Coach Green says, I want to talk about this. We can't afford to uh, have any more errors come on. They haven't been able to get on the board here in this first half, or in the first part of this second half so far. With 6.41 to play, they're going to be trailing by 12. That's Elijah Martin's second three of the game. I said, you know, coming out of halftime, if they get hot from behind the three-point line like they did the other night against Capital, it could be a it could be a runaway here. Rick Green decided to take the timeout and try to stop that from happening. GW really needs to get an offensive set going here on their next possession. Pass it inside. He loses it. South Charleston looks to run the floor. Hartwell is going to get called for the foul. Now we'll send Shoddy Williams to the line to shoot two. This is Williams' first trip to the charity stripe tonight. His first shot hits about every inch of that iron, but does drop. <laughs> that one much smoother, and in he goes two for two from the line. He has seven on the night. Dejon Reed with that long reach and those quick hands. Gets it, but can't keep it in play. It'll stay a GW ball. So 
Ref's going to take a little bit of time, wipe the moisture up off the floor, and we'll be back underway. GW still looking for their first points of the second half. It's going to be Jackson Clark called for the travel as he tried getting it over to Dawson Lunsford. Clark will have a seat. That'll bring Chuck Kelly into the game. Chuck Kelly's definitely that guy that could give a spark to this GW team, get a steer or two going here. GW looking for that big defensive stop. South Charleston looking for that big bucket to get this crowd going. Kelly with a great defense on Saunders there, putting his head down, getting in the way. Little physical there as it looked like Martin gave a little shove to Lunsford. Baby hook won't go for Saunders. Nice pass down inside. Lunsford for two on a beautiful pass from Goble. Quick drive down the right-hand side, gets it to go. He's leading all scores with nine. Three-pointer goes up and in. That's nothing but net for number 23, Gail Lamb. an 11 point lead for the South Charleston Black Eagles. Halfway through the third. Reed loses his footing, still gets a shot off. Can't get it to go, but then he commits the foul 90 feet from the basket. Something Josh Daniels isn't going to like to see. Good hustle to try to get back into it, but not a foul. Coach wants you to pick up. Kellum's going to calm him down on the other end. Give him a high five, say get your head back in the game. Let's go. Great speed, quick hands by Elijah Martin, almost taking that one away. Last touch by Martin, though, so we'll stay GW ball. Big three by Lamb on the last trip down the floor. GW going to look to capitalize on the turnover. It's going to be... Kellum with a huge block, and he gets it way up field, way up court, I'm sorry, to Elijah Martin for the layup. It's a 13 point lead now for these Black Eagles. And that's going to be a nice step right in front of it. Looked like Dejon Reed was going up to dunk it. Christian Goble said, No, I'm going to step in front and knock that out of bounds. Kept the two off the board, but it will be South Charleston ball. No loose, going to have a seat, going to bring Brady Anderson into the game. Kellum can't get his hands on the inbound pass. Kelly pulls up from the wing. He gets it to go. He hits the three. That ignites this student section down to my right for GW. Gets them back in the game. Makes it a 10-point game with 240 to play here in the third. South Charleston student section chance scoreboard, but they haven't uh, had a basket here in a couple of possessions, and they're going to get a timeout and talk about it. Josh Daniels is going to take 30 seconds to get with his team as he almost saw another turnover felt. The crowd was starting to tip. A little bit of momentum maybe going GW's way. 
wanted to get the timeout, calm some things down. Ten-point lead with 2.29 to play. Elijah Martin leading all scores with eight on the board. Lunsford leading scores for GW. So far, a pretty clean third quarter. Not too much chippiness. There's a little bit of that uh, in the first half as we saw uh, multiple offensive fouls, multiple charge calls. But a little more under control here in the first six and a half. Five and a half, sorry. A lot of action, a lot of banging down there. Refs letting them play. Very aggressive game for both teams. Dejon Ree got all kind of pressure. Couldn't get it to fall. He's slow to get up on the back end. Reed had the nice move to get down the lane, but couldn't finish. Gail Lane with the air ball, offensive rebound by GW. And then a defensive foul committed by South Charleston. So that's going to be Dejon Reed's second foul. He's going to go out of the game. The big fella showing the muscles, but he can't get it to go. Kellen rips down the big rebound. It's only a 10-point lead for South Charleston, and little shots like that inside the six-foot mark just won't fall for GW tonight. What a move by Williams as he drives down the left-hand side, and he gets fouled by... Brady Anderson, he'll go to the line to shoot two. He was perfect on his first trip to the line. They're going to say the block was on the floor. They're going to say he wasn't in the act of shooting. I tend to disagree, and I think so do the South Charleston fans. Quick hands by Anderson, knocks it out of Kellen possession, but will remain South Charleston ball. A minute to play here in the third quarter. It's a 10 point lead for the Black Eagles. Hartwell's going to get called for the reach in. He tried to take it off of Kellum. That's Hartwell's second, team third of the quarter. Student sections and the fans have died down a little bit. Got a little quiet for the last minute of play here in the third. Hartwell got a hand on it, tipped it away, but didn't gain possession. Williams was able to take it back. 18 to play. Williams really good at getting to the lane. Kellen with the follow up tip in for two. And I think they're going to get Kellum for a foul. Might just be, they might just give him a warning on number 11. They do not give him the foul. They do give him a warning for the unsportsman, like hitting the ball back out of bounds after GW was trying to take it in. Hartwell's long three, get no good. 
Kelly with the offensive rebound, but he can't get it to fall. And that's how we'll end the third quarter, 34-22. We'll be back after this. In an ever-changing world, one thing you can always count on is Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Hurricane. You know, Gene and Ryan built their business the old-fashioned way by making friends. There are no gimmicks or games at Walker, just honest, fair deals, and their method is so straightforward, it may shock you. Friendly service and a huge selection of inventory with more arriving daily. When you're ready for your next vehicle, take the short 20-minute drive from Charleston or Huntington to Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, just off the Hurricane exit of I-64. Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, making friends one deal at a time. Hi, I'm Ben Nickel. I'm from Charleston, West Virginia, and when I'm back home, you'll find me at my local Parmar store. We have that Bobcat pride at your local Parmar stores. From food and drinks to gas and more, we have everything you'll need at Parmar. Download the Parmar app and sign up for the rewards cards. We have stores throughout Ohio, and we're coming soon to your neighborhood. We are Bobcat proud, and we are Parmar stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're up here on the hill in Charleston, West Virginia, where George Washington Patriots are taking on the South Charleston Black Eagles. We've had a great three quarters of play. We got eight more minutes to go here in this 10 point lead for South Charleston. It got up to 13 at one point as GW seemed to be chipping away, but they just can't get those six and eight foot shots to fall. Very uncharacteristic of them. They're very good on the glass, very good at the footbacks, just not falling tonight. Um, you know, it, it ten point lead seems like a lot, but it could eva evaporate very quickly in a high school basketball game. And that's what GW is going to hope for, and South Charleston is going to plead to stay in the lead. It's going to be off the mark for Gobo. If I'm correct, he has back-to-back -back air balls. Cold shoot night for him. Might be the South Charleston fans in front of me getting in his head a little bit as you hear them chanting at him. Three-pointer goes up for Martin. That's going to be an air ball as well. No points scored in the first minute of the play here. GW is going to need to get a few buckets and a few stops if they want to get back in this thing quickly. A lot of game left, but that clock is not GW's friend right now. Hartwell gets one from 17 foot. His hand got hit on the follow through. He looked for the foul. The refs aren't going to call it, though. That's his first points of the game. Three-pointer goes up for Dejon Reed. He hits the front of the rim, rolls around and out. Kellum's going to get called for another foul away from the ball. That's his second foul on the night. Both of them have been off the ball on the defensive end. He's an aggressive player, and you got to love that style, but sometimes those fouls can come back to hurt you. Lamb off the mark. Still scoreless here in the third for both teams. Dejon Reed's shot from about 11 feet goes up. No good, but does get the foul. That's Hartwell's third foul of the game. Reed's first one rattles around and in. South Charleston's got a couple rolls here that you usually see the home team getting. Especially on these foul shots. He goes one for two from the line. Dejon Reed on the 
Long rebound from the Hartwell three. Shawty Williams leads all scorers with nine for South Charleston. He's been a lot quieter than he was the other night, but you know, still has nine on the board. As I say that, he says, take that, Craig Broman. I'm going to drain one for you. Nothing but net from Williams. Kellen going to be called again away from the ball. He's hot. That's going to be his third foul. He picked up two rather quickly here in the third quarter. He can't believe it. He's pleading to the rest. He's pleading to his coach. Josh Daniels throws his hands up in the air saying he can't believe it either. Lunsford short, rebound by Dejon Reed. Nice pump fake off the glass, can't get it to go though. Martin gets the foul call. He'll go to the line to shoot too. That's Lewis's second foul of the game. GW's second foul of the quarter. This first one's no good. You pick up the foul, but that's as good as a defensive stop in a coach's eyes. There's no points go on the board for South Charleston. Well off the mark for Goble. Good defensive play by Hartwell, though, to break up the long pass that was coming this way for Shoddy Williams. Back to a 13-point lead for these Black Eagles. Black Eagles are the underdog as the two seed. GW the one seed in the section. This game is for the Quad A Region 3 Section Championship. Flutter goes up, can't, won't fall for Reed. Hartwell with a nice spin move down the left hand side, lays it in with his left hand. Hartwell's two cuts it to an 11 point deficit now. They call the tie up there. Dawson Lunsford reaching in, grabbing the ball. Possession arrow is in favor of the Black Eagles. Josh Daniels of South Charleston wants another timeout to talk it over with his team. We'll be back after this. The HD Media Plus app is your ticket to see all the action on the hard court as it happens. Sam, Sam banks it in! Sam's from three! Download it today for free to your smartphone or TV so you won't miss another shot. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Timeout for South Charleston as they have an offensive possession to talk it over. Try to get some more points on the board. They lead by 11, 339 to play. Chuck Kelly steps in front for a nice interception there along the baseline. 
GW's going to look to get hot. That three goes long, though. Big offensive rebound, though, for Chuck Kelly. Lamb off the mark again. Williams went to the Euro step, got the ball up. Didn't get it to fall, but they're going to call number. Going to call Gail Lamb on the foul, his first. Williams gets the first one to rattle around it in. Second shot just short. That's going to be Chance Hartwell for two. He's getting the crowd pumped up as he gives the line for the three-point play. Kellum for two. Thirty to play here. South Charles is going to pull it out, run it around, try to get in that foul game. Saunders is going to be in a little bit of trouble. GW gets the tie up. Josh Daniels not happy about that. Never want to get caught picking up your dribble along the sideline. Get that extra man, that defensive help from the out of bounds line. Now they're going to say correction. The possession error should have been pointing to GW, and it'll go back that way. It's 40-29, 11-point lead for the Black Eagles here. You know, GW is nor normally scoring up in the 70s and 80s, and, you know, the last game, Capital put up 74 points. So this is a very low-scoring game for both these teams. Uh, you know, as I said earlier, GW just can't get the close shots to fall. Uh, South Charleston be able to get to the rim but can't get things to fall as well. Both teams playing outstanding defense. A lot of switching, a lot of help. That three goes up and off the rim. Big offensive rebound goes up and... Three offensive rebounds, about five shots. They can't get it to go. Foul does get called, and that will send... Lamb to the line. The foul's on Kellum, his third. Lamb's first one hits the side of the rim and out. Lamb's having a tough night shooting. He can't get him to go from anywhere. He gets one for two from the line. Martin tried going up, and that was big Noah Lewis with the block. Saunders was able to tip it away from the hands of Lamb to get the defense to set back up. It's a 10-point game with just under two to play here. A couple subs coming in the game for GW. Either student section has had a seat all game long. It's a packed house, great atmosphere. 
here up on the hill at George Washington High School. Lunsford trying to direct traffic, gets the clear out. He throws up the long three, and it's off the mark. Kellum can't get it to go. Off Chuck Kelly, though. He'll go towards the Black Eagles. Ball out of bounds by GW. GW in that press that they run often. South Charleston got lucky there. Dejon Reed was barely able to get it. They swing it back, get it over to Saunders, who will be fouled. That will only be the fourth foul, so South Charleston will inbound it one more time before they end up going through the line. That's Lamb's second foul of the game. John Fall checking into the game. Hartwell going to have a seat. Going to go some defense for offense here. Substitutions by Rick Green. As you look around, you see the banners of the state championships that Rick Green has coached to. You know there's a lot of knowledge, a lot of coaching ability on that side of the floor, and you see it in play here. Jackson Clark going to pick up the foul. That will send Shoddy Williams to the line to shoot two. South Charleston fans looking down. They're yelling, saying no time went off the clock. Josh Daniels realizing it too. The refs are going to get together. South Charleston fans throwing out allegations of cheating down there on the clock by the GW score team. Refs get together for a second time to talk it over. Both teams go to the bench. Give South Charleston a chance to talk over their offensive strategy, defensive strategy for the GW. Winner of this game is the Quad A Region 3 Section 1 champion. Ten-point lead for the visiting South Charleston Black Eagles. One twenty-eight to play, and we're sure it's going to be a great last 68 sec 88 seconds. Williams at the line to shoot two. He's long off the back of the iron. He went one for two on his last trip to the line. He moves the four for six from the line for the night. He leads all scorers with 13. They're saying Gail Lamb not allowed to come in the game after the made free throw. He's going to have to wait until the next stoppage. Nice pass inside. Good up and under. Was number 11, Jackson Clark, for two. Going to get the timeout. Full timeout for the Patriots. Rick Green wants to talk over a little bit of defensive strategy, maybe get some subs in the game. As we said, he was going offense for defense substitutions earlier there. Got the foul game on with five. Will automatically send South Charleston to the line. GW cheerleaders on the floor doing a nice job trying to keep their crowd into this as they look upon an 11 point, or sorry, a 9 point deficit for the home team. GW's student section has fallen quiet the last uh, about minute and a half, two minutes of game time. Trying to do everything they can to get them back in this game. 
lot of players playing great for both teams. A lot of people up for the Caldwell Loose to Traffinal Player of the Game that we'll give out to the best player on the winning team here. And we'll decide that over the next minute and 17 seconds. Referee's backing him up along the baseline. Telling Williams he's free to run on the inbound pass. They do a little trick play here to get it in. Nice throw to Saunders. Kellen's going to be the one that gets fouled. That's going to be Dawson Lunsford. Josh Daniels not happy with the way his team broke that press. They came down the sideline, which is never something a coach wants to see. That's when you get in trouble. Luckily, they were able to get out of it. Send Kevin to the line to shoot two. His first goes short. You see a short foul shot like that late in the game. you got to think maybe his legs are tired. He's played about every minute of this game so far. He is an impact player on both ends of the floor. Gets a little deeper bend there. Gets that one to fall. Back to a 10-point lead with 1-10 to play. Patriots are going to need something. They're going to need it quick. Hartwell goes to the line. South Charleston fans can't believe that that's a uh, blocking call going to be called against Martin. Hartwell hobbling as he went knee to knee with Martin on the blocking call. Hartwell to shoot two. I believe his right knee went off the quad or knee area of uh, Martin's left side as they collided there just in front of the basket. Hartwell makes the first. Gets it down to a nine-point deficit with 107 to play. A couple more substitutions coming in the game. Where he takes a minute to wipe up some sweat on the floor from the collision. Hartwell's second coming up. He gets it to go. He goes two for two from the line. Brings it down to an eight-point deficit. 107 to play. Same inbound play again, back to Saunders. Foul's also going to go against Lunsford. He got back, he has back-to-back -back fouls on the defensive end. That'll send Saunders to the line to shoot two. Lunsford's third foul of the game. Saunders gets the first to go. This is a big shot here. This makes it a four-possession game if he gets this to fall. And he does. Black Eagles take the timeout. They want to talk over a little defensive strategies. They have the 10-point lead. Saunders has four on the evening after the, those two free throws. 106 to play, 10-point game. If your GW drawn something up quick for a three-pointer or a get to the basket and hope for a steal on the inbound play. If not, you got a foul and send it back to the line. South Charleston's been pretty solid from the line. Tonight. A few missed free throws here and there, uh, but for the most part, probably shooting in the 80% range. GW able to get to the hole. They're able to get to that rim. They just can't get anything to fall as they have all night. Struggled from around that area. Uh, a few possessions ago before the fouling uh, occurred, we had, you know, a four or five offensive rebounds and sh uh, five shots that went up for GW, and they just couldn't get any to go in. And that's been the story of the night here, and that's why it is a 10-point deficit for GW right now. South Charleston's going to come out on their own man-to-man -man press, maybe try to make GW waste a little bit of time. 
Hartwell's going to bring it up. Hartwell takes the three. Can't get it to go. Martin with the rebound going the other way. He gets it up to Kellum. Here comes a big dunk. And that's going to bring down the house on the visiting team student section as they get real into it with 12 to point lead with 45 to play. That's going to be about all she wrote. It's going to take a miracle now for GW to come back. <coughs> Lunsford's going to try though as he took that three. Didn't get the three, got his own rebounds, got the two. As they're going to take a timeout. They're going to talk it over, try to pull off a miracle in these last 34.9 seconds. GW fans are making their way to the door. The South Charleston student section is uh, waving them a farewell on this cold, rainy West Virginia evening. And I think that is going to call us for the uh, Caldwell Loose to Trapano player of the game. And it, it is Deshaud Shoddy Williams from South Charleston. He leads all scorers with 13 points. He has back-to-back -back big impact games for this team. And he's going to appear to lead them to a section championship in 2024, biding some type of miracle in the last 34.9 seconds. So congratulations to our Caldwell Loose to Travano player of the game, Shoddy Williams. Big cheers now coming from this South Charleston student section as they can start to feel it. It's going to be a four possession game with 34.9 to play. And they have the ball. Chuck Kelly going to get called on the foul. Ref's going to run over, separate them, make sure there's no chippiness. Good sportsmanship as we come down the stretch here. But that foul will send days on read to the line. Dazon has eight on the night. He went one for two on his last trip to the line. Referees are going to blow the whistle. They're going to tell Shoddy Williams he can't stand that close to Dawson Lunsford. I don't know if I've ever seen that while players still on the floor. Reed gets his first one to fall. That bumps it to an 11-point lead, 32.6 to play. There's still hope here for these GW Patriots. They will be in the state playoff. That shot's off the mark. Going to be another air ball for the GW. They've struggled all night long, just ice cold from the floor, can't get anything to fall, and that really is the story of the 11-point differential. Shawnee Williams got it across half court, and then Dawson Lunsford got him with a foul. I believe that is the fourth on Lunsford. Charlie Williams gets the first one to go. Charlie Williams hits two. He has a big smile on his face. He knows he's about to be a Quad A Region 3 section champion. That shot goes in for Gail Lamb. Patriots going to take a timeout. I think they have a little bit of life. Try to pull something off. 17 seconds is a decent amount of time. I believe uh, it was Reggie Miller who had 11 points and 8 seconds once in the NBA. GW fans hoping for some kind of miracle like that again. After the shot was made by the Patriots, it will be GW ball, or I'm sorry, South Charleston ball. If there's no steal, we'll expect a foul to come. Gail Lamb giving the foul.
That'll send Shawty Williams back to the line. He has 15 on the night. He's made his last three free throws. Make it four. 12-point lead as the clock ticks. That's pretty much going to seal it for him. Lamb shot it off. And as time expires, it will be your South Charleston Black Eagles 51, the GW Patriots 39, crowning South Charleston Black Eagles, the Quad A Region 3 Section 1 champions. We thank you for coming. It's been a great night. Shoddy Williams led all scores with 17 points on the evening. He had back-to-back -back great games last game. He did it from the floor tonight. He did it from the foul line. And as always, Patriots couldn't get a few shots to fall, as we mentioned earlier all night long. 12-point victory for South Charleston. Their student section storms the field. I'm Craig Broman. Thank you for watching HD Media's broadcast of game day, brought to you by the Media Center.